you guys open up the three sectional staff, I always love opening it up. It feels like you're about to partake in an ancient Chinese war. And this is your ancient Chinese martial art weapon. And if I hold the ends and put the middle part downward and give it a little flick. Listen to that, see how that's spinning? Let me do it again. Pay attention, watch how it spins. That's the power of that ball bearing. It's got a lot of good mobility in it. I've been practicing three sectional staff for nearly 20 years, and that is the first time I've ever used a ball bearing three sectional staff. Usually I have one of the old school versions, and this is pretty light, like it feels a lot lighter than the steel bow staff, okay? So what I want you guys at home to practice, if you get one of these, is I want you to first be safe, okay? The three sectional staff has injured unintentionally more of my students than any other weapon. Maybe the chain whip is number two. But the three sectional staff always hits them in the head or it hits them in the mouth or it hits them in the shin, hits them in the knee, clips them in the elbow. People go home having a really bad experience. So I tell all my students, wear a groin cup at first, wear some shin pads, wear elbow pads, maybe even wear a helmet, like a sparring helmet, a mouthpiece, maybe eye protection, and also, get a pad like go to your hardware store and get one of those gray insulation tubes that they use on plumbing and put the tubing the foam tubing around the ends from here to here and then duct tape it on there so that this part is padded up so if the end hits you it won't hurt you because only the foam will be hitting you. And in every one of my San Jie Gwen three sectional staff classes, I make all my students do this with their three sectional staffs if they're a beginner. If you guys have used weapon before, you can do it raw, just how it is, uncovered. And I want you guys to first practice your regular bow spins with the three sectionals. Number one spin is oftentimes the hardest for people. I don't want to talk that much. I want you and me to get to the action. So just the best you can, don't overthink it, get some protection on, and do number one spin, trying to keep a nice smooth momentum and try to keep the three sectional staff in an outstretched position. So it's totally lengthened. If it's inconsistent and flopping around and you have no momentum, it's gonna hurt you, it's gonna bite you. But if you have good momentum like I got right now, it's pretty safe. And if you guys want a good workout, try to do about 100 spins in a row. If you get lost and it starts to get scary and dangerous, just let go and let it hit the ground. If you try to hold on to it and tighten up, it'll bite you. Okay, so again, from the beginning, it's hanging down right here. We're gonna swing it and begin the number one spin, keeping it open and as smooth as possible. And nothing too fast, I'm just going nice and slow right now. Just spinning it fast enough to keep it outstretched. And that's number one spin with the three section. Some other spins you guys can do by holding the middle, watch your elbows, and just do a little bit of a forward spin going this way, okay? And just get comfortable with the weapon spinning. Keep the elbows in. Get about 100 of these. Then try to kill it and go the other direction, underneath. And can you guys transition back and forth? Kill it, forward. Kill it, backward. Kill it, forward. Just like a nunchaku, we gotta start slow and teach ourselves how to strike, how to be comfortable, and how to kill it. Break the momentum. By kill it, I mean break the momentum. So this is your next spin with your new aluminum three-sectional staff. It's also a good bicep workout. Vegan gains, build those guns. Next we catch the ends. We want to work on our bow stance, training our leg conditioning. Get a park like the one I got right here. We have lots of room. And take some deep lunge steps into our bow stances and strike at the same time. So watch this. We're going to block left, step and smack with the right. And try to hold the three sectional extended. So the three sectional, the length of it kind of mirrors the length of our legs and our body. Then again, block right, step forward, smack and hold that nice bow stance. Work those legs, baby, work those legs. Again, block, step forward, smack three. Let's do 10 of them. Block, step forward, smack four. My opponent is right there. Five, it's a ninja. Gotta take him out. And <laughs> six. Again, block, step forward, seven. Again, block, step forward, eight. Do it again, two more. Nine. Last one, 
10, hold that stance. Work on your leg conditioning and try on your own to get about 50 of those in a row. Next, you guys are holding the middle portion. You're gonna keep it tight to your body and we're gonna work on rotating our body, make ourselves super dizzy as the three sectional staff will be a representation of what our body is doing, okay? So watch, I'm gonna bring it around my waist to my back, pass it off and keep it going this way. So right hand grabs, left hand grabs. Right hand grabs, left hand grabs. Right, left, right, left. Let's build that speed a little bit. Build that momentum and fluidity and smoothness. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Get that rotation around the body. And then right from there, get into our horse stance. Throw it into the helicopter spin. Around the back, above the head. I am super dizzy right now. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> get it going. Over the head, around the back. Over the head, around the back. And get about 100 of these in. And then you guys will be nauseous and your arms will be exhausted. Good training. <sighs> Next, we're gonna use the three sectional as it's supposed to be used. Use the entire length for leverage and swing it like a baseball bat, plus learn how to kill it as it wraps around our body. Okay, so here's what I mean. Holding in a baseball bat grip, we're gonna imagine that we're surrounded and we're gonna kill everybody in the war with one full swing and then slow the three sectional down and kill it so it doesn't hurt us and then immediately go the other direction. Okay, here's what I'm talking about. Baseball swing, hit everybody around you, kill it, other direction. Kill it, other direction and use the 360 spin of your body to create power and momentum. You guys can hear the sound, listen to the sound. Two more. And that, is how you guys swing it using the leverage. And in your brain, take out the entire army. If you guys have watched my bow staff tutorial on number four spin, we're gonna use that spin right now for the three sectional. So both palms facing forward, facing down. The fists are up and rotate it underneath our armpit. It's the exact same spin as bow staff number four spin. And just trust that if you get enough momentum and you have confidence, the weapon will obey you. If you have fear and if you lose your momentum, if you have no confidence, the weapon will bite you. Okay, so watch my confidence and my momentum. Here we go, four spin, let's do it. <clears throat> Shoulders down, back straight. My legs are gripping onto the earth and I'm trying to hit the person standing in front of me. Let's get about 20 of these in a row and get some good conditioning going. Oh, I like this staff. Number four. It's 114 degrees outside right now, so I'm sweating bullets out here in the Phoenix area. But even despite the heat, I'm gonna show you guys right now how to close the three sectional skillfully. So if you have the staff extended all the way and you're going underneath somebody's chin, smacking them, I want you to let the three sectional barely hit the ground. And it takes a lot of practice, but I know you guys will be dedicated to your practice, right? It took me about a thousand tries before I got it. It barely hits the ground and then goes into my hand. And that's how you close it, one move, you're doing a performance, a great way to kind of wow the crowd, close, bow to the crowd, and walk off like you're the man or the woman. Hey guys, I really hope that you love the traditional weapons of Chinese Gong Fu as much as I have my entire life. I was a young teenager when I began training in traditional Chinese martial arts and I've loved it ever since. And today I'm in my 30s, I'm almost 35 years old and I still love the weapons and when I train them, it takes me back 
to those teenage days. I went to a lot of effort training all over the US, all over China. I've traveled all around training with many different Kung Fu masters to learn these weapons. So please train this material, get a proper tool, get a real three sectional step so that you can train it at home and preserve these weapons because I'm telling you, I'm young. Even though I've been practicing for almost 20 years and teaching full time for 15 years, I am still one of the youngest Kung Fu practitioners and youngest Kung Fu teachers that I come across. Most of the guys who love Chinese Kung Fu are dying out because they're in their 70s and 80s and 90s. So the younger generation watching right now, let's keep this art alive. Hit the like button, subscribe. Please follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at Jake Mace Tai Chi. And I will see you guys back here for the next lesson. I'm gonna get back to my training with this incredible traditional Chinese martial art weapon. Let's go. Oh, I can feel the burn in the arms. Better than hitting the weights. Ah. 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 Ah.